guys uh, welcome to my youtube channel uh, my name is pooja amisha uh, today we will discuss about the subject compulsory english in the first unit astronomy of our picture of universe so uh, first of all we have a question what is called universe so the universe means the vast space that surrounded that surrounds the earth and extends to infinity is called uh, universe and the second one is a, what is called astro astrology so the astrology means the science that uh, deals with the study of universe and based on observations and prediction is called astrology and next the first unit preface in the preface uh, by birth the main is a curious to know about the things that we find surrounded ourselves from childhood at a grown up age uh, there are so many question about a uh, life a uh, god the space or the universe uh, at uh, the quest for knowledge has given birth to science which helps to answer such a question uh, regarding the sky space or the universe and also some scientific events the writers of literatures like novelists dramatists poets etc also raised many question and answer them in a literal way questions in religious are answered vaguely or unclearly but science tries to answer such a question systematically and automatically with the help of evidence and picture uh, here is a fine discussion about the main centuries long quest to know our universe so uh, next uh, our history history of our universe so in the in the universe um man has been always fascinated by mysteries of uh, of the universe every age try to explain that uh, the universe in its own way uh, the early people believed that the earth was a really flat earth uh, supported on giant tortoises and infinite number of the universe supported the giant tortoises uh so there are uh, many theories about the universe and uh, many philosopher uh, and scientist uh, are given his own theory uh, that we discuss now so first of all the aristotle uh, the greek philosopher aristotle didn't agree with the uh, concept such a earth about the earth aristotle was the first to propose a giant a scientific theory about planetary system Uh, he wrote in his book on the heavens that the earth was a round sphere rather than a flat plane moreover aristotle was uh, proposed uh, the ge uh, geo a geocentric theory uh, according to that theory the earth was a stationary and the sun the moon the planets the stars moved in a circular orbit around the around the earth second one is a ptolemy so another scientist ptolemy also supported the views of aristotle ptolemy gave gave the uh, eight sphere in which the earth was a center and the moon and the sun uh, and uh, he discovered and then discovered five planets the mercury or uh, venus or uh, mars jupiter and saturn um, another scientist third one is a nicolas copernicus and uh, then uh, the polish priest nicolas copernicus came with a simpler but a, but the controversial model however was however was the um, later in however proposed proposed in of uh, 1540 his idea was that the sun was a stationary at the center and the earth and the planets uh, moved in a circular moved in a circular orbits around the sun Uh, another sign another um, astronomers uh, first one is first one is a uh, german uh, german jonis kepler and second one is a uh, uh, italian galileo to support a uh, copernicus theory so fourth one is a uh, uh, jonis kepler he believed that the that planets move move in a elliptical orbit not a sphere it means a perfect circle now the uh, predictions measured the observation but kepler could not explain the planets um the what um what forces made the planets to revolve around the sun 
and fifth is uh, Galileo. Galileo invented telescope uh, and that uh, and that found that few moon uh, were, were revolving around Jupiter through telescope proving proving that not everything orbits around the Earth. Uh, six is uh, Sir Isaac Newton. More explanation was provided much later in 1687 uh, when the Newtons published his work uh, Philosophia Naturalis Principia Mathematica. He developed a theory how can uh, how bodies move in a space and time as well as the maths need to uh, study of or study study those motions uh, he gave us a gravitational theory and some mathematical formulas to calculate the motions of planets and satellites he explained that as there as there were uh, the infinite star in the universe there was a no center, there was a no center fall to, for, for them to fall to. Uh, Six one is uh, Edwin Hubble. So, um, he believed, uh, more, nay, moreover, uh, he, uh, moreover, in 1929, he believed that uh, the universe is uh, expanding. He gave some reason, uh, the first one is, uh, this suggested that there was a time, Big Bang. When the universe was a, when the universe was, was the smaller and much dense. Second one is uh, time existed at the Big Bang. Um, if the universe expanding, there had to begin it. So uh, today uh, the scientists work with two main theories. Uh, first one is a general theory of relativity and second one is a quantum the quantum mechanism theory. The first one is a, on a large scale and second one is a mini scale. So uh, the problem is that these theories contradict each other. They cannot be uh, they, they cannot be both they cannot both be right. The goal is to unify this theory into one that uh, one that can describe everything in the universe in the uh, most accurate and consistent way. So, uh, at the last uh, first unit uh, conclusion, uh, in short, we can say that uh, the Aristotle, Kepler, Newton, Newton's gravitational law, and Edwin Hubble's observation that the earth was expanding provided much guidance to understand uh, and uh, universe in a better way. Einstein's general theory of relativity also gave, uh, also gave much information to know our universe in a better way. So uh, please guys watch my video, like, share and subscribe.